Hi, I'm Leslie, part of your helpful team here at Northeast Fasteners, nutsandbolts.com. I'm here to help you identify and measure a bolt to make your online ordering experience a little easier. So let's go through the, the first thing you're going to need to know, which is the grade markings on the bolt. When you're looking at a grade two, you're looking at a low carbon bolt, usually has no markings on the head, maybe except for just a little manufacturer's mark. It could also read A307 on the top of the head. When you're talking about a grade five, you always want to see three radial slashes on the top of the head. That marks a grade five. When you're talking about a grade eight, you always want to see six radial slashes on the top of the head. That marks grade eight. When you're talking about metric, they're rated in a different way. Metric is rated grade 8.8. .8. Not to be confused with the U.S. standard grade 8, an 8.8 .8 in metric is actually equivalent to a grade 5 in U.S. standard. It will be clearly marked with an 8.8 .8 on top of the head and will also have a manufacturer's marking. On a grade 10.9, this is equivalent to a grade 8 in U.S. standards. It will always have a 10.9 marked on the head along with a manufacturer's marking. When you're dealing with socket products, which are driven down with Allen keys or hex wrenches, however you want to call it, they're usually a 12.9 grade. They do come in lesser grades, but I do suggest you use a 12.9 when you're using a metric socket. Mm -hmm.